Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We're playing more Fantasy Star 3 today. And between episodes, once again, I spent some time leveling up. As you can see, Reese is level 6 and Mew Mew is level 3. Such a cute name, Mew Mew. Anyways, I also purchased, um, if we go to Reese's inventory, a hunting helmet and a hunting armor from the previous town we were at. So let's go ahead and equip them because I haven't equipped it yet. Right now our defense is 40 with the helm. It is 42, so slight upgrade. And the armor will bring it from 42 to 47. So definitely an improvement since he had no armor or helm on currently. It's an upgrade over nothing. So, Also, one thing to mention is as you level up in this game, you do not get new spells. I repeat, in this game you do not get new spells. Instead, the characters you have already have all the spells with them. The only difference is her t technique points, or TP, slash magic, whatever you want to call it, is increased as you level up. So, you can um, reorganize the spells in a local town, which I'll get to later on. But that's a story for another day. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. That's what I get for trying to record on a Saturday when everyone loves bothering me, so it's typical. What are you going to do? So let's get our little journey started here. If you remember where we last left off, we encountered the cyborg Mew, and um, basically we didn't find any lay-ins because we're, if you remember the beginning of the game, if you saw the first two episodes... Uh, Reese's wife was kidnapped by what was believed to be a Leyen uh, soldier or preacher or whatever, and um, and now he's on uh, hell bent to find his wife and figure out why the hell she was captured in the first place. So we um, found Mew, who decided to join us. Apparently, she's been waiting for us for a thousand years. Why is beyond my understanding, but whatever. Ugh. God, I hate the poison spell in this game. It's not even like as bad as other games, the poison spell, where in other games, as you walk, you take damage. It's just more of annoying than anything in this game, because everything casts poison. Holy crap. Jeez. Well, at least that's really the only status element you can be affected. The only really stat that's the only status element, ailment, whatever you can be affected with in this game. Other than that, the only thing that can happen to you is you can die. Or you need someone to revive you, so... I guess that's the one positive. <laughs> yep. So, I wonder... <clears throat> so basically, I didn't... I didn't uh, as Reese gains a level... I didn't go over why we're exactly in this cave. Well, apparently... There was... Uh, there's rumor that... There's an individual in here... Who... They're not sure if it's a lane or not, but he's also believed to carry a key... That'll open up... Or give us passage through a cave that will lead us to a deserted land that people haven't been to in a long time, or something like that. And nice, everyone's gaining levels like crazy. Mew leveled up now. So, hey, I'll take it. Any kind of levels we can get while in this cave, I'll, I'll accept. Oh my god, I'll tell you what though, right now I'm getting pretty unlucky in these battles as the enemies seem to be getting a lot of first strikes on me. Good God. All I want is the cool treasure chests that are in here. That's all. Shield. Nobody can use a shield. Because they both have... Uh, Mew has two one-handed weapons. And Reese has the, the sword, of course. Also, I also... Off-screen, I also bought... Um, a few monuments, like two of them. And an antidote, the case needed. And I might need it, because... So far, things are not going so well here. And these are pretty easy enemies, too, and I'm struggling. I don't know why. My guy should be leveled enough to uh, take this place out. Daime, yay! Now, earlier, the first treasure we also got, if you remember me mentioning it, was an escape pipe. Uh, escape pipe uh, works the similarly in this... This works the same in this game as it does in um, Fantasy Star 4. And it is the fact that um, if you use it inside a dungeon, it'll take you to the exit. So we're gonna, definitely going to be using it after we're done with this place. Reese, don't die! 
excuse me. Not too bad so far. Um, I'm pulling my own. Now, oh, big wide open area here. You know what that usually means in game in RPGs? If you're in a big, huge, wide open area, that means you're in the right area. Mew gained another level. Aha! We found someone. Hi, I'm Lyle. Yes, I do have the sapphire. I don't really need it, so you're welcome to it. I'd like to join you on your adventures, but I have other things to do. See you around. That's it? Jerk. Pointless people these days. Pointless. Antidote! Cure! Restore cure! Alright, let's use our escape pipe and get the hell out of here. We have no use to be in this dungeon anymore. We got what we needed. Our sapphire, whatever. And that sapphire is going to allow us to enter the forbidden caves and hopefully take us to uh, the right, in the right direction of where these lay-ins supposedly are. Come on. Stop attacking me. Good lord. Come on, Reese. Do something. There you go. Learning. All right, so shall we head to the next area? Of course. First, let's go to the inn and rest up a little bit. Oh, we accumulated a pretty good am amount of Zetas. All right, there you go. Let's have a look. Reese is level 7, Mew's level 5, so it's paid off. Uh, what has happened to my wife? I was just a prince that was set to be married, and then all this nonsense happened. Why? Why me? Die! Oh, come on with the poison already! God! I just wa stepped out of the town! Telling you, this is why I said the poison is seriously more annoying in this game than any other RPG I've ever played. And not because, not because it's poison, uh, you know, does da damage to you. Because poison is just a nuisance. Ugh! You can't heal people who are poisoned. Oh my God! I'm getting owned by birds. Stop! All right, so we got to find this cave. I think it's over here somewhere. Where is the cave? Aha! The sapphire glows and you are inside! Sweet! We are on our way. Where are we going? I have no clue. These things are such a confusing mess at times. Will we find our way through? Ooh, new enemies. We're gonna die, aren't we? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. These are tough little little son of a... Kill it! There you go. All, all that for four experience? Oh, my lord. Alright. <laughs> Enough. Well, at least they keep trying to poison the same person over and over again. That's one positive, I guess. Six experience. Not bad. I have to start editing out some of these battles. So far, I've showed every single battle in the game, but I will be editing a few because it's just the counter rate in this game is absolutely horrendous. And we got a new enemy! The Low Blow? <laughs> is that what it's called? Well, I gotta see this, because I think... Is that what it was called? Low Blow? Low Blang or something like that. Kill it! Oh my god, it's still alive? Not bad. Pretty good experience. Reese leveled up. Alright, I think it's time to heal up a little bit here. Let's use... What the hell? We'll use uh, one of the Ana dopes we got. On Mew. Mew can use her heal technique. There you go. Wow. Freaking drains. Her magic is absolutely drained. It's ridiculous. Ah, these guys again. Kill it. Ah. I actually rather that big piece of crap up there use Gra than any other attack because its normal attack is just devastating. Okay. 
Told, I told you I was going to edit out some battles. Can't have them all in this game. Good grief. The encounter rate? That's the thing about this game. The encounter rate is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Die. 14 damage. Well, at least I'm accumulating a lot of money. I might not be doing so well in terms of health and all that, but hey, the money is rolling in. Mew gained another level! Yay! Ooh, treasure! Antidote! Sweet. I don't remember where the exit is. It's gonna take me uh, a little while to get used to this game again. There's so many different ways in these dungeons. As I was saying, there's so many different ways in these dungeons, it's easy to get lost. Okay. Uh. I guess let's go right? I don't know! Aha! We found the exit. Okay, good time to heal up a little bit with Mew. And she's out of magic. Lovely. I think she can. She has enough for maybe one more heal. Ooh! Looks like we're in a new area. Let's have a look at Reese at the monitor. Where is it? Here you go. So if we go to our map now, you'll notice we've crossed maps. We're on the right side. So what the hell are we gonna do here? Well. Let's go explore. I think there should be a village around here somewhere. But, don't quote me on that. I don't remember exactly. New enemies! The Buzz Ghouls! Um, nothing too, hor too, too horrible. They do that, sh that nasty um, multi-attack over there. And that can be pretty, pretty nasty if uh, you don't take them out quick. Alright, let's uh, heal again with Mew with her last heal. And she's out of magic, so she can't. Wonderful. Alright, let's burn. No. Not yet. I could have sworn there's supposed to be a town here somewhere. Shit. Kill it. Good job. Only one that time. I'm getting a little nervous now. But there's supposed to be a town here somewhere. Guess what, guys? Reese is dead! No! <laughs> Her main character died. Yeah, well, that's one good thing, I guess, about this game. If your main character dies... <laughs> Here's the town. If your main character dies, you can still keep going. It doesn't matter. But it's... And you don't lose any experience or anything. It's just kind of funny how, even though he's dead, he's still walking. Only this game. Rice. 50 gold to bring him back to life? Good god. Alright, we died, but we died at the right time. So let's go rest up at the end, and this will be probably a good, good time to stop this episode. See if I can find this little this inn, wherever it is. There we go. Was that a save? Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm not stopping the episode yet. Let's, let's continue a little longer. Not too long. I just want to talk to these people in town and see where the hell are we? Maybe there's lands around here somewhere. This is Rizel, stranger, a small fishing village. Hmm. We're all suffering from hunger and severe cold. That's not good. Reminds me a lot of Fantasy Star 4. Remember that, uh, continent? I think it was... I forgot the name of the continent, but remember it was just devastated. It was by the, the freezing cold. Oh, here it is. I think this is it, isn't it? Technique distribution, yes. Alright, now if we go to Mew, they let us... If we go and click healing technique... As you can see, Restore has four of those weird symbols. Gears has... Uh, five, and so on. Each of those symbols represents the magic cost of each of her spells over there. We can r literally flip it around by moving. As you can see, by moving the controller, so we can literally make restore cost only one magic. However, its effectiveness is going to be crap. So the, le the less you make it cost, the less the effective. So the more the cost, the more effective. It's a little confusing, I know. But I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do, um, let's see, I'm going to completely, well, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
Actually, you know what? It's not bad. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna leave it the way... Oops. We're gonna leave it the way it is right now. I was thinking about flipping it around, but nah. I think it's good the way it is right now. Let's check out the weapon shop, see if they got anything new in here. Even though I'm not gonna... Even if they have something new, I don't think I'm gonna waste any money here. Let's see. They do. They got new claws and other stuff, but... We're not gonna bother wasting the money because we're gonna be heading out and heading uh, to a new town shortly. With uh, slightly better gear. That's the armor shop. Oops. Wrong button again. Deadly winter came upon us without warning. We can't fish in a sea of ice. We're starving. We're... Please help us before we all die. Oh, that's kind of sad. These poor people are all going to die. Oh, well. We can't help you. We got more important stuff to do. Alright, so let's head south towards where we gotta go next, and then uh, we'll cut the episode. So basically, all you do is you see this uh, broken down looking town. You go next to it, and then you head down, and... Uh, no, that's not, that's not what I wanted to do, but... Let's kill that thing first. Alright, if you keep heading south, you're going to... There you go. And no, that is not the same dungeon we came from. <laughs> so... In our next episode, we'll head through this dungeon and head to our new area. And I know it seems a little repetitive right now, but I guarantee you that good stuff's coming. See you guys next time. Later off.